It's an event worthy of Las Vegas with lots of hype and eye-catching displays. More than 3,000 companies from around the world have come to the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas to get noticed. Paul Hunter has more on what's been capturing attention so far. This particular demo is three Panasonic 4K displays. In the super the shiny, uber cool, high def, awesome world of the Consumer Electronics Show, there's a gadget for everyone. But this is the it thing this year. Ultra high definition curved TVs. And they come to stand in wonder. Who knew TVs could still impress? Even the old fashioned flat screens here are stunners. Some of this stuff is so amazing, it's almost ridiculous. I mean, the, the crystal quality of the picture on this TV, people are coming up to this and sticking their face right up to it to see how pristine the picture is, but that's not even the, the best of it. Come around here, take a look at how thin this thing is. That's it. This week, Las Vegas is chock-a-block with such stuff. It's not yet in production, but check this solar-powered car by Ford. Or what about door locks that unlock with your smartphone? Jewelry that warns if you're at risk for sunburn. And get this, a camera that makes instant prints. It's called a Polaroid. Yep, reinvented by new owners. And it takes about 30 seconds to print. Just like the old days. Yeah, just like the old days. They'll take pics of anyone. And they've got a camera for anywhere competing with the GoPro. It's adorable and cute. <laughs> yes, Blackberry's here, and so is Typo. The U.S. company, BlackBerry, suing over the look of its keyboard that fits on an iPhone that then feels like a BlackBerry. It brought quite a crowd. Speaking of things Canadian, how about the Me Finder? So now it's taking a live video of my face. A made in Toronto free app that lets your phone collect all those photos of you on other people's smartphones. We will just, we'll, we'll wing it right now. Um, I, take, I try to take people on an The biggest way. fail, at least so far, Hollywood director Michael Bay, when introducing that new Samsung TV, his teleprompter crashed. It, uh, how do you think it's going to impact uh, how viewers experience your movies? Excuse me, I'm sorry. So much sorry. for high tech. Okay. But all the other stuff worked just fine. A glimpse of the future, gleaming and weird and neat and cool, and at least some of it coming soon. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Las Vegas.